welcome you to the Home Depot SEC on CBS. This afternoon, an SEC West encounter, the Tigers of LSU against the Rebels of Ole Miss. Horrible. They've clawed back. They defeated Tennessee last week. This is a battle for a better bowl berth. And LSU and Ole Miss fairly so, evenly Relatively dry. 98th all-time meeting. LSU leads the series, and Ole Miss Markeith Summers is on the field, and he and Shea Hodge go wide right. Now, this is Summers in motion. Quick flip to McCluster. That's a lateral. That's a lateral, yep. yes. Yep. So, it uh, out of bounds. Here's the handoff. This is McCluster coming left. Watch out. Foot race. Danny McRae has an angle on him and knocks him out of bounds. Sneed shakes the tackle. Under some pressure from Levingston, gets around the corner, fumbles it out of bounds. Shepard with the hit. Wow. Third and long in this conference, you get that type of pass protection early. It was Al Woods that put the pressure on that forced Jevin outside, and then Levingston is the guy who pushes him and catches it, I think, doesn't he? Uh, Shepard hit him. Yep, and then Levingston stands up and catches it. Oh, there you are. Now that's out of bounds. 45 yard effort to uh, become first on the board. That one cuts inside the right upright, and Ole Miss. Play fake. Jefferson near side. And there's the advantage of having a 6'5 receiver as yes. Tolliver goes up and makes the catch. Keelan Williams cuts through left guard. First down and 10. Option play. Jefferson. Boy, were they ready for that. And 14. Ole Miss showing a blitz. They are not blitzing. Good protection for Jefferson. Too high. Intercepted. Picked off on the far side. This is Cassius Vaughn. All the way in. Touchdown Ole Miss. There is a flag. It's at the nine-yard line. There to slot to LaFell right there. You see the ball overthrown two or three yards. That's who called the interception. The after the interception. Illegal block in the back. 85 under defense. Unsportsmanlike conduct diving into the end zone by the receiving team. Both players will be enforced. First down. It was on the quarterback. And then I don't understand how you can make that call because you don't know for sure as a runner whether Barksdale can make the tackle or not. Here's McCluster. Caught by Raheem Alem, slowed up just He's enough. told it is a coaching decision. Third down, here's Sneed back. Good protection. Deep left side for Hodge. Caught it, touchdown! <laughs> Shea Hodge up in the air over McCray. Good protection again. Jerry does a nice job inside. Now the catch. Caught, comes down. I think that's a proper call. Well, they are talking yeah. about it. The initial call was touchdown. Did he step out before he caught the ball? That's going to be the question. It will be incomplete if he stepped out before. You know, the official has his hat off down the sideline. But he would have had to have been forced out for it to be incomplete. Ruling on the field is the runner, correction, the receiver ran out of bounds on his own, was the first to touch the pass, therefore we have illegal touching. Right. That Penalty would be the call. Loss of down at the spot, at the previous spot, fourth down. If you're shoved out by the corner, you can come back in and catch it. If you run out on your own, you are not able to touch it first. There's the out of bounds. You could have said, now this is a really a fine line here, that his momentum from the shove put him out of bounds. But it's a hairline call. He was also the man who signaled touchdown. Here's Sheen. Blocked. It's blocked and heading 
toward LSU's direction, picked up, and the foot race is on. It's Patrick Peterson, touchdown LSU. Side right here, I think that's who got it. Al Woods goes up, left hand, yes. Then it bounces crazily right to the one of the great players in college football. They're not going to catch. How about that, Vern? El Miss thinks they scored twice. Right. LSU scores once. LSU scores the one that counts. Is the only running back. Lionel Bro starts in motion. Sneed rolling right. Pulls up. Fire. Oh, wide open. How about that? Down the sidelines. Mark Keith Summers, number 11 six. 11. With a quarterback, it's 10 on 11. Yeah. Now McCluster split wide right here. Sneed back. Goes into the flat right side. McCluster. And he's tackled as he gets to the eight yard line by Kelvin Shepard, number 11. This one from 26 yards out. Up and good. This game began. Second down and 10. Keelan Williams, large gap right side. And LaFell among those in the backfield. Here's Jefferson back. Good protection. He finds LaFell, another LSU first down. Between the two starters. Shepard at quarterback. Bounces to the right. And not very far. Jefferson in the end zone. Caught. Touchdown. Ruben Randall, the freshman. A 17-yard touchdown. Well, Cassius Vaughn. Got LSU and Jordan Jefferson. Marquis Summers starts in motion. Play fake. Sneed into the flat. It's caught by Bolden. And, he's right. and I think he could do it at the next level, by the way. On second down. This is Bolden. Well, uh, how about some more on Dexter? Right side. Oh, boy. Almost picked off. Instead, Marquis Summers has the ball. Side, one to the left. Little flip out, one-on-one, -on -one. McCluster, he's in trouble. Machine from 34 yards away. And it is good. 72 yards, first half already. Keelan Williams up the middle, spins, almost broke it. Now he's in motion. Jefferson back, looks deep, fires it, he's got a man. It is caught by Tolliver. Fourteen. Third and ten now. Jefferson takes off left side way short. Ball in his quarterback's hands. And you know what? I think Jefferson is limping coming off the field. Yes. Hey, he told us on Wednesday the ankle, the injured ankle, lower ankle sprain, not 100%. Here is Josh Jasper from 50. Got it! Grandy, one of two men deep. Onside kick. Who got it? It looked like LSU's Peterson might have got it. Uh-oh. This is going to be close. Ruled out of bounds. There's the kick. There's Peterson. Well, I think that time he was out. Call yep. on the field was right. What is it about Patrick Peterson? Oh and was he in or was he out? I yes. think that's the great call right yep. there. Yeah. His left foot was dragging on the play, but I actually don't think he caught the ball till his right foot came down and controlled it. He was dragging his left foot exactly the way you teach a wide receiver. For the kick going out of bounds, be tacked on from the out of bounds spot. First out. How about the Mad Hatter? Yeah. Uh, he insists that he did. It looked like he did. Here's the pass complete, left side. Football. Yep. LSU's got it. Russell, Kelvin Shepard. And Chad Jones pulled it free. He sure did. Great execution to the outside. Pitch and catch. 
Going to be a first down, and then Chad Jones gets his right hand and rips it out. Boy, that's perfect. Tackle. Picture perfect. Was his knee down, though. Was his knee down. Should be reviewed. If I was a replay official, I would take a look at this. Play is under review. Yeah, well, you see his left knee down and no loose football right there. I think this is going to be overturned. After review, video shows the receiver caught the ball. His knee was on the ground before the ball came. You're amphibious, in other words. Absolutely. Yeah, okay. Across the middle, Shea Hodge breaks the tackle down inside the 10. Ball from the three. Right side, touchdown, Grandy. Jesse Grandy, the freshman. What's the argument to be made why you would, or is there? Well, one? he wants to tie it up. Okay. Yeah, you know, I. Do you just, think it's too early? Well, I think it's your less than 50% chance, you know. That last play was speed on speed. McCluster to one spot, and Grandy coming across. Hurry out of the huddle. Quick snap, got it. Sneed rolls right, pulls up, goes in the end zone, knocked away incomplete. Against cancer which she lost late this week. Left side, catch is made at the 33-yard line. Shake McCluster. Right. Going to pass. He is, and he's got a man wide open. It's Hodge. Touchdown Ole Miss. Who said he couldn't pass? Well, better from this formation. He missed all five he tried a year ago. He completes this one for 27 yards and a go-ahead score. Blitz coming. Sneed lets it go. Has a man open. It's Shea Hodge. Second down. Grandy goes left. Oh, boy. Chad Jones wrapped him up. Sneed, wide open is Hodge. Hodge to the 20. It's another first down. Go. Test the inside again. This is Bolden, number 34. Play fake. Sneed. I think oh, I think he threw it away. He did. Yeah. Good deep. Right side, Bolden, no, fourth down. They'll have to try the field goal. And I Got it. Marche Green, when Houston Nutt got here, he said, we don't have any corners. Marche, you got to go defense. Saron Black at fullback. And the push at the right side. Did Shepard take that play at quarterback? I think he did. Yes, he did. And it's enough to move the chain. Third and two. You have to pick up the first down. Still plenty of time remaining. And again, Ridley is the running back. They'll go from the spread. Ole Miss with four down. Here's the option play. Left side, Ridley gets a block and a lot more. Out of bounds at the 36. Second down and 10. Back to back plays, they play coverage. Blitz from the corner. Oh, he's got it to the 25 yard line. That might be enough to move the chain again. Ridley. Jefferson deep in the right corner, man is open. It's caught, touchdown. Ruben Randall, number two, his second grab for a TD in the ball game. And what did they do? They went deep on Green. He's been so aggressive, he squatted and he ran right by him. You just knew they were going to eventually get Green. Green just squats. He never takes a step back, runs right by him. That's why he was in on all those plays, because he was gambling. You got to go by him. Now the try for two. Mm -hmm. 
LaFell and Tolliver both near side. Ridley in the backfield. Alongside Jefferson. This for the tie. Into the left corner. Battle. Flag is thrown. It was Tolliver and Cassius Vaughn. Who got called? Fade pass to the outside. Tolliver 6-5. You can see it. Pass interference. Defense number 24. Half the distance to the goal. Repeat the try. And we'll see. Again for the tie. They are coming. Ole Miss is bringing them all. That's LaFell in motion. Jefferson with pressure. Incomplete. Everyone comes. Fade to the outside. Same combo. Yep. And Tolliver does not come down with it. Even, even if he had his foot. College rules, you have to have four players to the other side of the kicker. Oh, he got it! LSU has it! Brandon LaFell in perfect stride. That ball never bounced up high. LaFell took it like a grounder. Watch it skip, 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 and LaFell grabs it. Never had to stop at all. Perfect stride. I think Dexter McCluster let it go. Is that number 22? Yes. yes. McCluster let it go to the second level, and he actually let it go for LaFell. First down and 10. Field goal wins it for LSU. <laughs> what a game. Blitz. Jefferson pulls up, lets it go for LaFell. Stop him almost right here. Yep. What about 25 yards? Here comes the blitz again. Jefferson lets it go. LaFell out of a tackle. Still surging to the 30 yard line. The wide receiver. Three down for Ole Miss. They threaten the blitz. They're bringing five. Jefferson rolling right. Being chased. Got him at the 41. Emmanuel Stevens, number 95. Saran Black did a good job here. LSU can stop the clock one more time. They might be coming again, Ole Miss. No, they're not. Little quick screen out to the left. Ridley in trouble. Fourth down. Patrick Trahan, number seven. And they lost seven more. Nice job by Trahan that time doing his assignment. He had Ridley. He never let him get outside. That was a screen pass called all the way. And Trahan, the senior, does a great job. Final timeout used by Les Miles and the Tigers. They're looking at fourth and 26. And the Rebels of Ole Miss think they might have this one. Fourth down and 26. Ole Miss has five up front, six back. Jefferson is nailed as he lets it go. It's caught! Tolliver with one second left. Get your field goal team on. You have to get your field goal team on. Oh my gosh! You don't have time to ground the ball. Terrence Tolliver and here. What are they doing? You don't have time to ground the what ball. What are you they doing? Play. Game over. Why do you not have your field goal team Should out there? Should have run his field goal team out there. My I think, gosh! I think they waited too long on third down to call a timeout also. 